Magisk version 24.0 has been released. Let us go ahead and see what is new. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And John Wu, the developer of Magisk, just pushed out Magisk version 24.0. Now, do note at the time of recording this video, it has been pushed to the beta channel. And if everything goes fine and smooth for a few days, it will be pushed over to the stable channel. Let us go ahead and see what is the difference between Magisk version 23.0 and 24.0. Now, the app icon remains the same. And on the left, we have the Poco X3 Pro, which is rooted with Magisk version 23.0 on the right we have the Redmi K20 Pro which is rooted with Magisk version 24.0 and yes Magisk version 24.0 is capable of rooting Android 12 out of the box how do you do that video can be found in the description of this video now the first change you will notice is here in the Magisk section so a b and s a r have been removed but you have something called Zygisk and right now that is set as no the version of course is 24.0 in the application section there are not many changes major change over here is that safety net check has been removed and that is because Magisk version 24.0 Magisk hide has also been removed so if you go into the settings option here and you will only see the option for hide the Magisk app in the Magisk section the Magisk hide option has been removed and why is that that is because John Wu is sick and tired of this cat and mouse game but 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 that my dear friends does not and I repeat it does not mean that you cannot bypass safety net with Magisk version 24.0 you can do it and you do have to use Zygisk. So with 24.0, you will notice a new option called Zygisk. Right now it is in beta stage. How do you bypass safety net with Zygisk? Video for that already exists on the channel and you can find it in the description and in the pinned comment on this video. So two major changes, Magisk hide has been removed and the next thing is that Zygisk has been added then you will notice that the ui here is a bit different previously we had a floating bar at the bottom now the floating bar has been replaced with a proper menu and you have the name there as well here and if you go into the modules section on 23.0 you will notice that i have a list of modules which is missing in which is missing in this 24.0 that is because the online repository has also been removed with Magisk version 24.0. So you will no longer be able to update your modules using the Magisk repository which John Wu personally maintained and decided what all modules will show up over there. But you can always install the modules manually from your specific device that is your internal storage and another tweet i think i read from john Wu was wherein he mentioned that he might add support to the module itself wherein the module will be able to determine from where you can update it so that would be a pretty nifty feature if and when john Wu adds it and there it is peeps that is what was new and different between Magisk version 23.0 and Magisk version 24.0 and before I end the video a lot of you are going to ask me then hey Manji how do you check for safety net because the option has been removed from Magisk version 24.0 well me personally I am using this application called yet another safety net attestation checker and again link to this can be found in the description of this video and as you can see right now I haven't applied any measures or any bypasses to make sure that CTS profile is passing for me but again the video is in the description of this video and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you